Hello and in this video I'm making a traffic light controlled roundabout with a cyclist and pedestrian underpass sort of thing that allows pedestrians and cyclists to cross the roundabout without having to physically cross it, they just travel underneath it. Now traffic light controlled roundabouts are required when a roundabout uh, is three lanes or more on busy roundabouts because it becomes impossible especially if one lane is uh, more busy than the other because it becomes impossible to enter the roundabout because imagine if you're trying to enter a roundabout from a not busy section just beyond the the busiest one you would never be able to enter because the traffic would just keep flowing and it would be impossible. So traffic light controlled roundabouts were made so that it would be possible on big roundabouts to enter the roundabout from all sides equally or, or so to speak equally because obviously in normally traffic controlled roundabouts one side has priority if it is the say coming off the the motorway or the highway that one will be given priority by a longer green light but as it is I don't fully understand the controlled tra the manual traffic light thing timers I've had a go at it but I don't fully understand and the only tutorial I found on YouTube was a German one and I don't speak German so that, that was quite difficult <laughs> I didn't really understand what he was going on about I've given it a go but uh, maybe I'll give it a go later but if anyone can, can link to anything like a something that's written down about how they work because I don't really understand but I'll oh, just carry on what I'm doing here I made the roundabout too big for my liking so I just used move it and moved the entire thing closer together just to allow it just looked too big like it looked like a big massive uh, uh, like motorway exit when this is not this isn't really what this is be like in the middle of a city or something so going on with the underneath the overpass I basically raised the terrain up around the uh, roundabout because it's easier for cars to go uphill than it is for bikes and then I level out the the middle and raise the four corners to bridges so that it allows people to freely bike without having to go uphill under the roundabout and through to the other side so what I'm doing here is adding stop lines for where the traffic stops so I let the game run a bit and found out exactly where the traffic stopped at the traffic light and then added a white stop line at that point this is the way they stop in in game I think is similar to how they do tend to stop in roundabout try time traffic controlled roundabouts if not a little too close to the junction it would be better if they were a bit further back but it's not it's not far as far as I know it's not possible to move where the traffic light location is I mean I guess I could set up uh, further back traffic lights with the manual traffic lights but then I don't understand how they work so <laughs> there's another problem there because I know you can set up traffic lights and then link them together but that's as far as my knowledge goes with those I've had a look at them and I still I don't I don't understand those either. So and here I am placing out the bike paths that go underneath the timed roundabout. There are two small mini roundabouts under the traffic light controlled roundabout. It would be nice to have like I suppose one way bike lanes because obviously the roundabout doesn't work because it's the bike lane is two-way so a one-way even thinner bike path would be nice to have 
but I don't think anyone's going to be making that. It's not on anyone's like, to-do list. So it's literally just, I want this. No one else wants this. So as I finish up adding the corner bits to the bike path, I get on to detailing it in the middle by adding a couple of art pieces, I suppose, to the middle, just allowing it to be filled with stuff other than flowers, I suppose. Because these places normally do have like an art ex exhibition or art in the center, just to add a, some something to the middle. And then I add these plant pots. I forget to add the flowers into the plant pots. I don't know if you noticed in the time lapse, but I didn't add the flowers. Uh, that's my bad. I didn't notice till just now as I was editing this together. So there are no flowers. Sorry about that. I would have liked to have added some, but uh, yeah, I forgot. So there's not much more really to say. I'm just going to let the time lapse run and I'll see you next time.